Welcome to Holy Cross Lutheran Church in Saginaw, Michigan. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger, continuing with our daily devotions. For Friday, March 27th, 2020, first from our series, Eyes on Jesus, during our Lenten journey. From Matthew 13, verse 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. In the famous Disney movie, Mary Poppins, sight becomes an important theme. Mary tells the children that some people can't see past the end of their nose. She doubts that their father will be able to see the older woman who sells food to the birds. The children are delighted that when it appears that he does, however, he really doesn't. He doesn't realize that feeding the birds actually feeds the woman who is selling the small bags of food. So often, people believe that they see what is in front of them, but so often, they do not. People saw Jesus, they spoke with Jesus, they listened to Jesus, but they did not see that he is the Son of God. They did not hear that his words were forgiving, healing, and brought eternal life. As Christians, we have been given exceptional sight, an exceptional hearing. We've also been given mouths and eyes to be used in order for others to see and hear Jesus. Pray that your eyes and your ears see and hear Jesus clearly every day. He sees and listens to you. And a wonderful theme and celebration of looking out beyond ourselves in acts of service comes in this devotion based on Luke 22, beginning at verse 24. A dispute also arose among them as to which of them was considered to be the greatest. Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those in authority over them are called the benefactors. But not so with you. Let the greatest among you, even as the youngest, be as the one who serves, who will be the leader of all. I am among you as the one who serves. The title, Picking Up the Trash. In the earliest days of our church, we had a problem with trash. Our members believed that picking up trash was a lowly, servant-like thing to do. And people who have lost everything will sometimes cling to their social status because they believe that's all they have left. So, in the early days of our church, no one was willing to humble themselves to even pick up one piece of trash and throw it away. At another church potluck, This lady's husband had decided, enough is enough. We grabbed a trash barrel, began rolling it around the tables, collecting all the old napkins and plates that people just left there because they didn't want to throw away the trash. So the people were shocked seeing this. Pastor, you shouldn't be doing this. The lady writes, it gave her husband, Pastor, the chance to explain what Jesus considers the greatest. We never had a problem like that in that church again. This is just one of the many kinds of freedom Jesus won for us, the freedom to serve without worrying one little bit what other people will think of us. Oftentimes, what they do think doesn't matter. The real question is, what does Jesus think when he watches and listens to us? Now, as long as that point is covered, we don't, long, we don't mind doing the little things for people, washing dishes, cleaning toilets, standing down in a sewer with a shovel, mud to the ears. These are menial tasks to many, but they're absolutely necessary for many. As children of God, we're called to live lives of service, not pleasure. We are called to do for others as we would also have done for us. And Jesus teaches us that whatever we do for others, we're doing it for him. And whatever service we withhold from others, we withhold from him. 
what is our status as a child of God, born of the Holy Spirit, beloved of Jesus, citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Nothing can take that away from us through faith in Jesus who suffered, died, and rose again for us for the forgiveness of our sins. Our status, better than it, the world could ever give us, our status, we're a child of God, loved, forgiven, blessed to be blessed, joyful in service. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings of this day. And even in the midst of a virus, a pandemic around our globe, there are still forms of service so obvious to us today. For many who are simply hunkered down at home, picking up the phone and calling someone is such a loving, caring act of service. We always assume others will be calling others. Families will reach out to their parents and siblings and spouses. But in these days, that's not true. Many people are simply existing in their home and with a phone, still they do not reach out to others. Gracious God, what a great form of service. Give us the heart to reach out every day and let it become a habit that we will carry when these times are behind us. As we see the needs of people, we reach out to others and we ask them how we can help. That doesn't come naturally to everybody, but it should never be a second thought for a Christian. We always look beyond ourselves to see the real needs physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually above all. If we are truly to be considered by the world as children of God and to be looked up to, then we must never be looked up to as simply people seeking to be leaders, but servants first, servants that have the heart of a leader. Gracious God, use this time to raise your church to be the leaders it once was in our nation and in the world and give us the voice back again to proclaim Jesus and let him be seen in every loving, selfless, caring act. Raise up your church again. This is a once-in-a-generation opportunity we have. Let us not forsake it, but let us be Jesus all of our days for his glory and in his name as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Dear children of God, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and in the name of Jesus give you peace. Amen.